What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling in today my people? Welcome back to another NBA player build video and in today's video I have an extremely extremely great build for you so this jason kidd build that i'm about to show you i'm telling you when i tell you listen i have love and respect for all of the people that make builds on youtube but when it comes to my builds it's unique what can i say right so look jason kidd right hand jersey number five all right first things first wait hold on we ain't doing this we ain't doing this now nah, i ain't getting no sauce and I get in the sauce right now. Wait till I drop the video. All right, so here we go. Point guard, you wanna go 6-5, all right? That's very important. Uh, now, once you go 6-5, 205 on the height, cause that's what we're doing. And then when it comes to the wingspan, we are going to a 6-8. Oh, actually no, 6-4, sorry. 6'8 on the wingspan, 205 on the weight, 6'4 on the height. Jason Kidd, all right? Now, first things first, to be honest, the best part is towards the ending of this build. So we're gonna start with actually the close shot. So we're gonna put the close shot to a 75, all right? So we know Jason Kidd, when it comes to Jason Kidd, we already know he's one of the best point guards a lot of times, I don't even think people understand how great Jason Kidd was from his vision, his IQ, the way he um, passed the ball, the way he handled the ball. Just him knowing how to play basketball was just something special when it comes to Jason Kidd, right? Now, for the layup, we want to go to 88, okay? 88, why go 88? Because we get that float game on gold, okay? That's what we want, the float game on gold. Jason Kidd wasn't a dunker. Could he dunk? I'm sure he could, but he was more of a layup maestro type of guy. He can get to the, you know, the rim and be able to score with a nice layup. We also get layup mix master. This badge allows you to hit fancy layups at a high rate. So to have this on silver with the float game, you already know we in for a ride, all right? So look, we're gonna have some post control on this build as well because Jason Kidd could play in a post, so we're gonna go 70, okay? 70 is what we're going to. We're not gonna go any higher. We're not gonna go any lower. This is what we're gonna do. Now, for the mid-range shot, watch how much mid-range. We're going 85, okay? Jason Kidd was great in the mid-range. Jason Kidd was really good in the mid-range. He could, uh, you know, dribble to the mid-range, shoot that shot. He could play in the post a little bit. He was good. We're gonna give this uh, 76 on the three-point shot. Some people may say this is too low. Listen, I understand, I respect your opinion, but this is the build that I made. You could definitely use this as a template and switch it up. Free throw, 82. Yes, 82, and we're gonna get right. So this is what we're rocking with for this build. So we already know, so far, the finishing is solid. We got finishing. We don't, of course, this is another 2K where we don't really need driving dunk driving dunk is great but you don't need it you know for jason kidville 70 nice little post control we have mid-range we can shoot and we have the three-point shot we can stretch the floor more now because we have this ability now we all know jason kidd is one of the best passing point guards to ever play the game listen we're going all the way up yes we are all the way up to a 95 95 gives you versatile visionary why do we want this badge because listen for jason kidd you have to be able to pass like him allows for high risk creative passes and alley hoops to be made more successfully to be honest this sounds like this is um a tie i mean it's, it sounds like a two-on-one badge it sounds like it's a uh, needle threader and it also sounds like a special delivery so that's pretty cool which makes sense. This is a nice name for it, right? Some people may say, why not go 97? We don't need to go 97 because you wanna know why? We are gonna be able to get the um, cat breakers. So once you keep leveling up, right? You will be able to get those cat breakers. Pass accuracy, we could go two right here for cat breakers and we'll get 
versatile visionary on Hall of Fame and Bailout. Or we could put more cap breakers and we'll have Dimer on Legend. Great starter on Legend. And if we add one more cap breaker when we're able to add our cap breakers, we'll have all of this on Hall of Fame. We'll have a 99 pass accuracy. This is going to be an insane two-way build. Yes, I said two-way. Even though you don't see the defense yet, you're gonna see how dominant this is. But we're just gonna go 95. You're still gonna be able to dominate. You still got that Hall of Fame break start, a Hall of Fame diamond. I'm telling you, you have to trust the process when it comes to these builds. Speed with ball, we're only going 75. That's gonna give us that lightning launch. Uh, this badge is explosive when driving to the basket. So that's this is what we want. This is gonna help us be more effective when we're using that 88 layup, all right? Now, this is where the build just kind of takes off. So they're gonna have interior defense. Most point guards are not gonna have interior defense. Jason Kidd was a great all around two way maestro. He was nice. Okay, so this is gonna catch a lot of point guards off guard as guarding you. Or even if you get matched up with a shooting guard, they this is gonna catch them off guard because you have a 77. All right, so you automatically get that silver off ball pass. 77 interior defense on a point guard is insane. Now, this is where the build is just getting real scary because once we keep in mind of the cap breakers, you know, down the line, this build gets crazy. So the perimeter defense, I went with a 96 on D interior defense. Are you kidding me? For all my lockdowns, look what you're getting at 96. Challenger on Hall of Fame, on board menace on Hall of Fame. You get pick dodger and you also get off board pass on Hall of Fame. Some people may be like, dang, man, I wish you could get Moodle. You will once I put the string up. That is tied. The Moodle Enforcer is tied with the perimeter defense as well as the strength. Keep that in mind, all right? But listen, some people will probably be like, oh, you could have went higher. No, cap breakers. All we need is three. One, right? Look at this. One, two, three, right? We might be able to get a higher, let me see, because you got to get a 99 to get the legend on legend challenger agility we're probably not going to be able to get that i don't know but from what i know is that um somehow if you was to like adjust it you'll be able to do this but for me i will be okay with at least going 98 so i can get the old four pass at some point on legend but for the purpose of this video we're going 96 so you are a lockdown all right you're a point guard you're a lockdown that's gonna cause havoc now for the steal i went 85 that gold interceptor. Before NBA 2K24, gold, uh, silver interceptor was 85, but now it's on gold. So I don't see why nobody would want to go up for anybody for trying to go up with this attribute just to get the gold. Because I'm telling you, the block, um, I just left it at a 50. He wasn't a shot blocker. I ain't going to try to go too crazy. But the rebounding, he was getting triple doubles too. The rebounding, look how much, this is a lot of rebound for a point guard. This is very consistent for a point guard. I didn't care to go high on a bird. I just went here. And this is what you're gonna uh, complete the build with, all right? Once you do what I just did, I'm telling you now, look at that, shades of Jason Kidd number one. Shades of Jason Kidd number one, man. This build is actually really insane. The defense, and then you get a two-way inside the arc playmaker. That is a dope name, but yeah, there you have it. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build, and until next time, much love.